This week on Maker Update, an Arduino Snowflake, a hands-free cookie dispenser, building a big telescope, network nightlights, budget robots, and the gamification of your couch. Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing well. It's hard to believe it's December already. I have a short but fun show for you today, so let's get started with the project of the week. Over on Instructables, Jiri Prow has a guide on how to make this touch-reactive LED snowflake. The project uses an Arduino Nano, 30 LEDs and resistors, and brass rod. The whole circuit is freeform, and the rods are soldered together with tin. There are three distinct layers of brass within the design, plus a brass rod that specifically acts as a capacitive touch sensor. This touch bar can be used to change the animation, turn it on and off, and engage a sparkle mode. You can find the code and some great step-by-step -step pictures on the Instructable. It looks like there's some tricky soldering there, especially with all those small surface mount LEDs, but a great payoff. I bet a 3D printed jig could help speed up the process if one of you wants to give that a shot. I have a bunch of other projects to share. First, check out this hands-free Oreo dispenser by The Practical Engineer. What started out as a silly joke about finding a way to eat cookies without taking your hands off your work, turn into this genuinely clever food dispenser that you can operate with your chin. The project was made almost entirely from plywood with a few springs and screws involved in a plastic tube. The design was all laid out in Fusion 360 and there's a well done set of plans that you can purchase for five euros to make your own because I definitely think the holidays call for a candy cane Jojo version of this. On Instructables, check out this massive, large aperture Dobsonian telescope made by Shane L. Larson. The Instructable is almost as gigantic as the telescope it's describing. Shane includes links to resources, build plans, advice on mirrors, a bill of materials, making the frame, calculating the mirror cell support. It's a deep guide with lots of useful photos. Andy Warburton sent in this great write-up on how he made a networked set of night lights each light uses an inexpensive ESP8266 board connected to a short strip of NeoPixels. The board checks in with the Raspberry Pi Internet network for instructions on when to turn on, when to fade out, and what color to use. The idea is, if you have kids, you have one color on as a night light, and then a routine that slowly steps through red, orange, and yellow, and white when it's time to wake up. I think it's a neat idea. Also, take a look at this wall of 1,250 stepper motors by artist Ralph Becker. This is for an artwork called Putting the Pieces Back Together. The motors are mounted on black aluminum and are flailing around pieces of acrylic glass. When the pieces touch each other, they reverse direction. The process speeds up and slows down throughout the day, and ultimately everything connects back up to a Raspberry Pi. It kind of makes you want to go out and buy 1,200 stepper motors. And finally, there's Hell Couch, created by Carol Mertz and Francesca Carletta Leon. This is a multiplayer game you control with your butt by moving around on a couch. The idea is that there's a demon under your couch that grumbles and creates fire that you see as red LED lights mounted near the floor. And as you move, you put out the fire and prevent it from escaping. I don't see any reason why this shouldn't be a standard feature on every couch. It's time for some tips and tools. Gareth Bramwin's latest Tips of the Week column on Make Scene shows off a cool idea on how to use binder clips to store tubes of paint on a wall, and a neat hack by Skull and Spade for using your laptop screen as a light table for hand tracing art. Hackster.io has launched a new badge love contest in partnership with Oshpark and Autodesk. There's $5,000 in prizes, and it's a great excuse to jump into the world of designing DEF CON style electronic badges. Submissions are due by February 28th, 2019. A new product on Adafruit I'm excited to try are these big analog panel meters. One is rated for three volts and the other for five. You can drive either one from Arduino's PWM output. I'm not sure how easy it is to change out the background of the panel, but I suspect these would look great as part of some prop design or a gauge on some kind of game simulator. The meters are $10 each. On the Maker Project Lab channel, I have a video up this week taking a look inside the new Alexa compatible edition of the Big Mouth Billy Bass Singing Fish. I've opened up a lot of these things over the years, but this one is definitely the most high tech and hackable. Then over on the Cool Tools channel, I've got a roundup comparing five different budget robot chassis from $15 up to $100. I've been testing out a bunch of options that I've been using on the Let's Robot platform. So if you've been thinking about building a little Arduino or Raspberry Pi based robot, give it a look. All right, there are no maker fairs this weekend or really for the rest of December. So 
That's gonna do it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up or leave a comment. Get on the Maker Update email list because that's really the best way to stay on top of each week's show notes. And a huge thanks to my patrons on Patreon who make it possible for me to do this show without going broke. You guys are awesome. Keep being awesome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.